Hi everyone, good morning. It's Margaret Manning here and welcome to Mornings with 60 and Me. Today's Thursday, it's uh, January the 19th. So uh, the week is whizzing by, it's almost the weekend, um, but I wanted to just say hi to you this morning. It's Thursday morning and I'm having my cup of tea. I have my green tea this morning and um, enjoying a really lovely morning. Um, I hope that you're having a great day. Um, you're doing something wonderful for yourself. I actually uh, got up really early this morning. I, um, for some reason I couldn't sleep. I, it was about maybe, I don't know, 4.30 or so and I woke up and I had about six hours sleep. So I thought, you know, it's probably enough. <laughs> I think I'm okay. So um, I decided um, to check in with a course I'm, I'm doing online on Udemy. It's on um, this philosophy of, um, of religion. And it's a really um, interesting program. It's with a, a woman uh, teacher that I've been interested in for some time and um, wanted to you know, learn more about her, her, her thinking. So it's, uh, it's basically a, um, a recording of her lectures. And uh, so I just sat there for an hour just listening online and really appreciated. It was early morning, had a cup of tea with me and um, having that moment to stretch myself, you know, to do something and learn something new. And it made me realize that, um, you know, that keeping your brain active, keeping your body healthy is, is partly, in my opinion, about being a lifelong learner. You know, always having this curiosity for life and, um, you know, being willing to, um, you know, take on new ideas, new thoughts and incorporate them into your life. And, you know, most of these programs are very inexpensive. I, I think that one was around $12, but um, you know, they're, they're either free or a very small uh, charge and you can take courses on just about everything these days. Now we have talked about this um, in the past as relates to college courses. Uh, there's a, a program, it's called Coursera, and um, it's got, I think they linked up with hundreds of different colleges all around the world. So you can actually um, tune in and join a program as if you were a student at Yale or Harvard or some of the Ivy League schools. These, um, uh, they call them uh, MOOCs, I think, and they're, they're basically online um, courses where you can just join thousands of people all around the world. And the other thing is um, that, that but if you, if you take that as one way of learning, there's also crafts and um, other uh, things that you can do with your hands that you can learn online. And you know, it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to be like an academic um, learner. You can actually be a learner of life. <laughs> um, I remember once I was trying to do something with sewing and I had bought an old sewing machine and I was trying to thread the bobbin and I couldn't remember how to thread a bobbin. <laughs> and I went online and I typed the name of the, of the um, sewing machine and how do you thread a bobbin? And there was this tutorial that came on and it was just exactly what I needed to follow. I mean, I'm sure you've all had this experience with YouTube where you basically can, write, can put in anything like how do you and up comes, uh, you know, Google with the answer. It's quite miraculous. But there are a lot of other sites. I mean, there's a few in the article that I'm going to send you the link to here. Um, there's eHow, uh, Lifehacker. They all provide free, you know, practical advice and tutorials on all kinds of subjects. And some of them are just so smart and so uh, I wouldn't have thought of them. But anyway, they are. So things like making your own cosmetics, um, how to build a terrarium, how to how to make candles or soap, um, you know how to, um, <laughs> how to how to shop smart, how to cook. I should do that one. But um, you know Jamie Oliver does a whole series that you can learn how to uh, you know to cook fast and and easy. Um, you can get involved with all kinds of things through these online tutorials. Um, how to make a herb garden. And also, by the way, at 60 and Me, we've got lots of articles that we publish um, from our fabulous bloggers uh, teaching you how to do things too. And a lot of their websites can help. Like we have a man who, um, Malcolm Dewey, who does uh, painting classes. And if you're trying to get back into painting, he, he can help you do that. Uh, Melissa Meyer is a gardener and she's got all kinds of cool gardening tips for you know, container gardens and so on. And oh, we've got so many cool people doing things. Um, Lindy Smith is a great cake designer and she's got uh, tutorials on her website. So, you know, there's all these um, great online resources. But another thing um, that I love are the TED-Ed classes. Now, I think I've told you guys about TED. TED.com stands for Technology, Entertainment and Design. And they have um, uh, lectures that are held all around the world and then they put them online for you to watch 
18 minutes, real short, uh, thought-provoking uh, articles. But they also have something called TED-Ed. And what was really cool about this is that Ted said, Ted said to um, innovators and teachers, if you've got something that you want us to teach, like you want to teach people about, send all your information and we'll do the video. So Ted actually used their designers and their um, you know, videographers to actually do to build the course. And they're really interesting. So they're things like the five major world religions you know, in, in 10 minutes. And it's very, you know, non-partisan or non-specific, uh, but it teaches you, you know, just about world religions. Um, you know, what is love? I'm looking at the titles here. The science of macaroni salad, what's in a mixture? Um, why is yawning contagious? And these are great brain activity, um, you know, uh, classes to take. And they're totally free. And just TED-Ed.com or go to TED.com and look for TED-Ed, TED Educational. And you'll just see an amazing number of really cool uh, things to stretch your brain and become a lifelong learner. I think it's lots of fun. And as I did this morning, when I woke up, it was like, mm, do I want to go back to sleep or shall I just put something fun in my brain? And so I decided to learn. And it was really cool. I mentioned, of course, Coursera. I want to make sure that I remind you about that. That's a cool one, actually, because those courses go over six plus weeks. And if you pay, I think it's $49, you can, and it's worldwide, by the way, so that you don't have to be in the States, but you pay $49 to get a certificate. So if you take a course on something related to your expertise to your business or if you're thinking of starting a business you actually can um, get a certificate which you know you can put on your profile on LinkedIn it's you've done it you've earned it you've learned it so um, it's worth mentioning and you can turn an idea you know by going and getting a little bit of, of um, uh, structured education you can turn it into reality so it's really really cool Coursera and um, so but you can do things like learning about medieval England or learning about Roman architecture or the history of music how to play the clavicle how to play the mandolin <laughs> there's all kinds of amazing uh, things you can learn uh, you can learn about evolution it's really really fun so I think that um, if you're a, like me a, a lifelong learner and you love filling your brain with new information and um, you know, just feeling energized by um, facts and figures about the world and about life um, you just check out the article and uh, perhaps get some ideas from from what we've shared here today you know it really is possible and I, I think personally very, very profitable to make learning a way of life. You know, when you go somewhere, if you don't understand something, um, ask about it, dig deep, Make, write down the name of the place and then when you get home, research it. I think that um, now that we've got a little more a little more time perhaps on our hands, we're not quite as, as busy with, um, you know, the things that defined us in our 20s, 30s and 40s, 50s, uh, we can now take time to learn. It's a great exercise. So I have a question for you. How do you plan to keep your brain healthy in your 60s? Leave your comments in the section below. We'll have a chat about this, a conversation, and uh, let's give each other some ideas. And what I love to, I just love to remind you is when you see someone has left a comment and you've got the time to read it, go back in and you know, thank that person for the comment, maybe add on to it. You know, it's like that was a great idea and um, or if you've got a but, you know, that was a great idea, but what about this? Just start uh, having that dialogue and learn from each other. We've got some amazing women in our community. I, I'm serious. We have got women with, um, well, not just the degree, the degree doesn't matter so much. It's just the knowledge. And if you just have a question, ask it and see if someone can help you. We've got a huge group and this is what uh, makes it valuable. So thanks everybody for being here. I really appreciate you taking the time today to join in and leave us your comments. And um, uh, my question again for you is, how do you plan to keep your brain healthy in your 60s? Okay, everyone, we'll take really good care. Have a fabulous day. And I'll see you back here tomorrow on Mornings with 60 and Me. Take care. Bye-bye for now.